Welcome back to the channel folks and thanks for dropping by. You might notice that things look a little bit different and that's because I have the, the camera kind of panned back because I, I'm excited. You guys are, are kind of with me now on the journey. I just got back from the store and I mean I just got back from the store. This is uh, January the 5th. No, not January. July the 15th. See, I'm so excited. I don't even know the date. July the 15th, 2016. I just got back uh, from the store and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm going to review one of, one of the Transformers that I've waited for oh, most of my life. It's going to be this guy. Okay. All right. Admittedly, that's, that's Quillfire. And he's from Robots in Disguise. It's not Quillfire. Though I do have a review of him coming up. No, no, no. The focus this time around is going to be, I guess what you can call the start of my Titans Returns coverage. And I'm going to start with the granddaddy of them all. This is, boom, Titans Returns Fortress Maximus. I never had the G1 version growing up. And I can remember that I guess it was a piece of product paper that came with Transformers when you bought them when you were little. And I can remember sitting in our family room and looking at that and drooling over it. And I never did quite get it, but now I do. And uh, what a better place to start than with this guy. Uh, I'm gonna do this in three parts. You're joining me right now for my uh, unboxing and initial reaction. That's gonna be part one. Part two will be the full figure review of him in all of his modes and a couple of alternate modes. And uh, part three is just going to be uh, my comparisons of him with Metroplex um, that came out a couple of years ago. So stick around for part one, sit back, uh, put your feet up. And this is going to be the Got That True review unboxing of Fortress Maximus. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot, and my Titans Returns coverage starts here with this guy. I just got back from the store, like I said. I have not opened them. Uh, you guys are joining me right away for that in uh, this first part, and my initial reaction to everything that is in there. Hopefully, this will be a pretty short one. Um, by all means, check me out everywhere. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, ask questions, everything. Uh, so, where do we begin with this guy? Well, we begin by looking at the beautiful art on the front. We have uh, an attack occurring up here. I think it's probably from Seekers. And over on the other side, you see a car flipping. It looks sort of purplish. I think, I think it might be the uh, G2 version of Breakdown. I, I can't really identify these Autobots up here. I'm not sure what they are up on his arm. But the guy is enormous. It's a beautiful, beautiful box. Uh, it even says, interestingly, uh, down here there's something about it being a simulated scene. Um, it, it looks great. Uh, what can I say? On this side, as I turn him, and he is big and heavy, you have a, a write-up about Fort Max. Um, you know, it is what it is. On the other side, oh... A nice close-up of his head and how huge that is. Uh, what can I say? It's 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 absolutely beautiful. Uh, on the bottom of the box, nothing much really. Uh, you know, just some official information over there in the Generations logo. And on the top, you see uh, Emissary, who turns into the head of Cerebros, who turns into the head of Fort Max, and you see his... Um, Autobot City Mode, though I always thought it was a battle station, and you see his uh, battle station mode. Okay, so this is the battle station. His spaceshipy thing is the battle station. Of course, we all know that by rights, Emissary is Spike. Um, at least it is in North America. Love him, love him, love him. So, let's, uh, without further ado, after looking at the box, 
let's open them up. We have a couple of pieces of tape over here. Uh, I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to cut that. Uh, I will, however, point out one thing here. Just, uh, just for interest sake, before I open him up, you have this. And it's a big box. It is, in fact, dimensions-wise, the exact same size as the Generations Metroplex box. Uh, you can see there, you can't even see the box behind it. Uh, on the side, you can see, you know, exact same size, and if we were to uh, put these guys up on end, you'd see exact same size again. So he, uh, you know, if you were wondering, uh, size-wise, just how does he compare with Metroplex, uh, packaging says a lot. What can I say? The, the packaging says a lot. So. That was just a little sidebar. Let's uh, let's get into the unboxing here. We put this guy down. We cut there, and we bring the flap out. I suppose. I suppose I should show the back of the box. Oh my! I am forgetting so much here. Um, back of the box. You see him in this mode. Of course, you can press up here for lights and sound. Uh, you can see how the head transforms to Cerebros, transforms down to emissary. Um, and the number of steps that it takes for each one. Uh, you can also see down here they point out how Blaster um, and by rights Power Master Optimus Prime can attach to them. You see uh, how the Titan Masters work with all size classes. Um, again, I don't think anything that's a surprise there. It, it, the back of the box looks beautiful as far as, you know, as far as box art goes. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. So, okay, now, without further ado, let's, let's get him out. It, it's, this is a hard review to do. This guy's hard to handle. We'll slide that out and I will go to the far side. And pull that box off. And oh, baby, when you get Titan Class Fortress Maximus, here's how the guy's going to look in box, folks. Uh, obviously, you can see he has a couple of pieces off. He has this piece off. He has his arm off, just like Metroplex did. Uh, we have a booklet. Man, he's beautiful. Enormous and beautiful. You can't appreciate it on camera. You, you've got to see the guy in hand, in person. You've got to see the guy. He also comes with a collector card right there. And it's beautiful artwork. Uh, I've never been a fan of collector cards. But guess what? I am a fan of this collector card. I'm a fan of what they're doing here. I'm about to show you... Um, the back of the collector card, and in red, that shows Fortress Maximus's numbers for strength, agility, uh, intelligence, and fire blast, I guess. Then, uh, how much stronger he gets with Cerebros, and finally, how much stronger all three of them are combined. And you can see that right there. Uh, when all three are combined, he's a 20 on everything. He's a 10 without them. Uh, it varies a little bit when you look at the green and yellow, but wow, 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 wow. He uh, also comes with a, and I'll open this out just so you can, just so you can see, with a, a large instruction sheet uh, showing you how to get to all the modes, and uh, this section up here, that section up there, without a doubt, shows how you apply all of these stickers. There's so many of them, that's gonna take me a while and I don't think you guys want to watch me apply all of the stickers. But he looks glorious. 
absolutely glorious. He has a thicker uh, body than Metroplex here. He, he looks like he's about the same height. Uh, the legs look bulkier to me. Um, he looks, to my surprise, he actually looks more imposing than Metroplex. He actually looks bigger than Metroplex. Oh, baby. Okay, so that's part one. Part one is my uh, initial unboxing, my initial reaction, and you guys getting to see, uh, you know, I guess what this guy is made of. Now, I'm going to take a, a pause here. I'm not ending this part yet. I'm not ending this part yet. I'm just going to take a pause because I'm going to uh, remove the ties. And by the way, these are those like paper ties. They're not like plastic pieces. Uh, a few years ago in the Generations line, they all kind of came with these... I'm going to call them paper ties. Um, on the back you can see there's a lot, of, a lot of places where he is tied in. I'm going to take them off. I'm going to get them out of the box and then I'm going to end this section by attaching those pieces just so you can see exactly how they do attach if you don't know. Uh, so stick around for a second and we'll be back in just a minute with him out of box. Still continuing with my uh, initial reaction here. And boom, fresh out of the box, that's what he looks like, or at least that's what mine looks like, which means we have a gun piece, we have an arm piece, and we have his head. Um, so let's, let's get these pieces on. Uh, there is a, a little slot on the side of his leg. There's a little cylinder right here that just slides in on the side of his leg, or at least I think it does. There you go. Um, is there one on the other side, just out of interest sake? I don't, I don't believe that there is. No, there's not. There's not. So it, it does have to go on that leg. Um, the arm piece uh, is just like Metroplex's, basically. Uh, I'll get into that more when I do the full review. But you have a square section here. There's an opening right here, and you basically put it in like that. And last but not least, the, uh, the Headmaster. Uh, it's really interesting. Um, okay, so here is Cerebros' head. Um, it, is, it is the Emissary character folded up. I've been concerned about how durable this was going to be because I thought it was only a little part of Emissary that was holding it in securely, but it's not. There's a whole, there's a whole section here that kind of tabs in. Um, this does move and it will help uh, with the rotation on his head, but it's not the only thing that moves because he has a round cylinder up here that also uh, rotates and that's what, that's what allows his entire head to move and it's, it's pretty secure. Um, from what I can tell. So we take this piece, we position it, and hopefully this will just lock down. And in the end, there we have, in all of his glory, the fortress of the Autobots, Fortress Maximus himself. And man, oh man, I cannot wait to get him stickered up, to get to the review, to get to the Metroplex comparisons. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I hope that you can, uh, you know, feel my excitement through uh, through the camera. Hopefully, you're excited for Titans Return as well. Uh, Titans Return. I think I said that right. Uh, so that's it for part one. My initial reaction: love the guy. Don't have buyer's remorse for a second. Uh, he is so beautiful and impressive and imposing. So stick around for part two and part three. I appreciate you. Give me some of your time and stop and by. I look forward to the next time that you and I get together right here. And we have another visit inside the videos.